Hi friends, and welcome to today's Tuesday Travel Blog, where every Tuesday I post a new video about the cool places that I've been and the fun things that I've done as I travel cross country in my RV. Before we continue, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell icon so you can get notified of all of my videos. Today's Tuesday travel vlog comes to you from the Tabasco Manufacturing Company, located here on Avery Island in Louisiana. Originally founded in 1868, the founder, Edward McElhenney, decided to create a pepper sauce to add to the kind of bland Louisiana food that you could find in the area. Originally, he bottled the hot sauce just for friends and family. Uh, again, this was during the war, during the Civil War. Uh, so he used old discarded cologne bottles that he could just find. That today has given you the popular Tabasco bottle. The bottle itself hasn't changed since those original cologne bottles that he used. What has changed, however, is the label. Originally it said Iberia, Louisiana. It took them a hundred years to be a little bit more accurate and change the label to say Avery Island. Now, nobody really knows where he got these particular peppers. They are known now as the Tabasco pepper. There are rumors that he got them from somebody local in Louisiana, somebody from Mexico. Either way, they are now grown here. And this has become a worldwide industry. Now, you can tour the museum and see parts of the factory. The tour starts in the museum that talks about the history of the company, how he came about bottling, uh, pop culture, how it's kind of grown into something just absolutely amazing and worldwide today. You can go into the greenhouse and see the Tabasco peppers for yourself. And you can view the barrel warehouse. So they do use a white oak barrel after they create the mash from basically the pepper with a little bit of salt on it. They then put it into the barrels with the vinegar to distill into that hot sauce that we love today. And the tour is self-guided. So from there, you can go into areas that show you the assembly line, the packaging area. Now I am here on a Saturday, so none of these things are operational, but it is very neat to be able to see it and to kind of walk through this tour and get this idea of this global phenomenon. So what a lot of people don't realize is that the Tabasco Company sits here on Avery Island, which used to be a salt mine. So about eight miles deep are the salt flats. The recipe has not changed since the beginning. So quite literally, this island is salt and pepper at its best. The salt mines with the Tabasco peppers. And in order for it to be bottled to get to your table, not only does it go through rigorous testing in the lab, there's also a panel of taste testers that taste test every batch before it gets bottled and shipped out. The country store has a tasting bar, or you can go into the restaurant and sit down and do your own tasting, which is what I did. So I laid out in front of me all the flavors that they currently have, taste tested each single one of them, eliminated the ones that I don't like, which you can see here. Quickly determined that I am a fan, of course, of the original. I also really enjoyed their habanero and their scorpion. While they were really hot and not something that I think I would eat on a regular basis, very flavorful, very good. But I really did enjoy also their sweet and spicy. I think that one, other than the original, wins my taste testing contest. There's also the Jungle Gardens tour that's included in your admission price. This is a drive-through area where you can see about 120 acres of semi-tropical gardens, also known for the Buddha Gardens, the Buddha statue, which was gifted in 1936, the Sunken Gardens, there's plenty of bamboo that was planted here. And originally they planted about 65 different species. Today, only about 35 still live on the islands. You can see the cypress trees. 
The egrets return here annually in about February to nest. They also have plenty of alligators that you can find along the way and even a bear occasionally. So I'm having a conversation with this gator outside my window here. Um, I've told him that I won't hurt him and I've explained to him that he can't hurt me while I'm in my truck. So we have a mutual understanding and we're just going to sit here and stare at each other and admire each other and be one. Me and this gator. I'm going to name him Tabasco. What I've really loved about visiting here is not only a chance to see this uh, amazing hot sauce that is just known around the world, but learning about kind of this community that the Tabasco company has really built up, right? So it stayed in the family, generations worth of employees live here on the island and their conservation. Uh, this island is, is beautiful uh, with waters, as you can see behind me. Just being able to see this entire area really makes me feel better about this company as a whole. If you're ever near Lafayette, Louisiana, be sure to come down here and check it out for yourself. So thanks for traveling along with me. I always appreciate having you on the road. Be sure to check out all my other videos and I will see you next Tuesday.